One of the major issues about IVF treatment is the number of myths and misconceptions that surround embryo transfer. Many patients are still very confused about the difference between embryo transfer and embryo implantation and why it's better to do a blastocyst transfer rather than a day 3 transfer. Unless you clear these doubts, you will never be sure that you are receiving top quality medical care. The biggest problem is that there are many prescriptions and proscriptions about embryo transfer and they come from both doctors as well as grandmothers. Thus, you will get conflicting advice as to the importance of bed rest, whether it's safe to go back to work and what foods to eat. Please remember that when we do an embryo transfer, we are just mimicking what should have normally happened in the bedroom, but is not happening in the bedroom because of a problem such as a low sperm count or blocked tubes. The only difference is that normally the embryo reaches the uterus through the fallopian tubes, while when we do IVF, we put it back into the uterus through a hollow plastic embryo transfer catheter through the cervix. The point is that once an embryo reaches the uterus, it doesn't care whether it spent five days in the fallopian tube or five days in the test tube. Once it's inside the uterus, it is safe and secure because the uterus is designed to keep the embryo safe and Mother Nature has done an extremely good job over the last thousands of years of evolution with perpetuating the human species. Once an embryo is inside the uterus, it is safe like a pearl in an oyster. The worst thing which you can possibly do is start treating yourself as a patient and take all kinds of unnecessary precautions which are supposed to increase the chance of the embryo implanting. The truth is that you are not a patient. You are a healthy woman and we are just helping you to have a baby. No matter what you do or don't do, you cannot affect the outcome because implantation is a biological process which we cannot influence. We have to accept the fact that medical technology has its limitations and if you are willing to be patient, it's just a matter of time that you will finally get pregnant as long as you transfer top quality blastocysts into a uterus with a receptive endometrium.